form In a red state, such a red case on a red song In a shared space with my shareholders cause we share a bond Spiritual health care, that's real self care, you won't care for I got my Mets hat on to the back Y'all already know where we going with the stats it's Any artist that's talking garbage and try to curse us Y'all follow a wave and do whatever's current I follow his ways, I know my turn is coming Welcome to New York Giants Full Access Add it to the cart and we got you That's it man, go purchase Big Passports Talk merch and support the family man and welcome to big pass sports talk thank you for your support what's going on youtube instagram twitter all platforms welcome to another episode of new york giants full access with your boy big pass sports talk and come back from the block party successful block party and i see we got breaking news leo williams has been traded to the seattle seahawks we're currently 5-2, and two, number one in the NFC West with the current three-game losing streak by the 49ers. They get Leo Williams. They give us a second-round pick in 2024 and a fifth-round pick in 2025, and they get Leo Williams. Hopefully, uh, Pete Carroll and them, they see Leo Williams as a missing piece to their defensive line to you know stop that run game a little bit more and maybe get some pressure up the middle of the field. Uh, the Giants lose uh, a veteran on this team who's been on this team for four years. Um, maybe Dexter Lawrence's best friend on the defensive line has been traded. And let's see let's see how this plays out for the New York Giants. Now, I will say, going on some of the positives, um, that we actually got more back in return than we actually gave up for Leo Williams. As you remember back then, uh, when we traded for Leo Williams, which I believe was in 2018 or 17, uh, we gave up a third round pick and a fifth round pick, and we got back a second round pick and a fifth round pick, uh, I believe sometime yesterday uh, while I was on the plane. And what a heck of a deal, man. We got a, a second round pick for Leo Williams. Um, I do think that he's a very good player, but if you go base it off production-wise and stats-wise like a lot of these guys do, um, that's a heck of a steal for us to get a second round pick for Leo Williams. Um, he hasn't been as, as productive as his Pro Bowl year with us uh, since he signed that big, uh, huge contract. Um, I think we restructured his contract in order to make the deal happen. So uh, he was due thirty-two million, and everybody knows that thirty-two million is like Aaron Donald pay, and they're gonna base it, his stats off like an Aaron Donald since he's been paying that pay that much. And I can't say it's unfair but when you really look at leo williams he does do a lot of things that don't show up on the stat sheet as far as getting double teams helping people get pressures um doing what he has to do in the run game to take those double teams in order to open up holes for bobby o or mcfadden to come in there and make tackles and i think he was a part of the turnaround of this defense and um i think we're going to miss him I um, think we're going to miss him a little bit, much more than what people think. But to get a second round pick for Leo Williams, hey, I'm with it. Um, it was a very good deal for Joe Shane um, for future. As we all know, are the Giants tanking? I don't know, but it does help out that if we are, it does help out to have draft assets. Now we're back up to seven picks um, in this upcoming draft, two second round picks. Um, we're actually number four right now in the first round as far as picks. So, um, very good deal for us. Like I said, some of the negatives, I think we lose out on some of the run game. Um, Leo Williams was getting pressures. Uh, he actually had a sack against, uh, the Jets this past, no, was it, was it the Jets? Or, no, I think it was against Washington. Um, he had a block, uh, field goal against Washington. So, and he is uh, Dexter Lawrence, best friend across that defensive line for sure. So um, hopefully Dexter shakes it off and, you know, continues to be dominant. And we have to move forward. Now, some of the positives, like I said, we do get extra draft capital uh, to use. Maybe we can use one of those second-round picks to go back up in the first round and maybe get a top 
edge rusher or our top defensive tackle. Who knows what we'll do with those draft picks coming up because we don't know what this team is going to look like moving forward after the horrific start that we've had this year. So uh, Seahawks, they're getting a very good player to put in that defensive uh, front. And they can be a little bit more dangerous now. They're already 5-2. and two. They're already a playoff contender. And they're showing a lot of resolve this year. Geno Smith is still playing very well for those guys. And they get a good good player in Leo Williams, man. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, we traded away Leo Williams. We going to suck on defense now because Leo Williams is gone and he stops to run. Look, Leo Williams was a very, very good player for us. But I'm not sad that he's gone. If you can bring us a second round pick for a guy that we gave up a third round pick for, for four years later, that's a win. That's a win. And, 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 and half the fan base didn't even like the guy anyway. So if you're complaining now that they got rid of Leo Williams, one of our best defensive players, for a second round pick and now you're complaining. Now that means that you're just a, a complainer. Because you didn't even like the guy in the first place. His whole tenure here, everybody's been saying, oh, he's not doing this. Oh, he's the almost sack guy. He's this, he's that. So now if you're going to complain about getting rid of Leo Williams, you, you're all over the place. This was a win-win situation. We weren't going to pay the man after this year anyway. He has avoided year on his contract. You're not going to give Leo Williams probably the $20 million again that he's going to command um, in free agency. Uh, he might not command $20 million, but he might may command at least $14 to $15 million. We weren't going to do that. So to get draft picks for Leo Williams and a high, and a, and a high pick at that, it might not be a high pick in the second round, but it is a second round pick. So it allows us to maneuver that second round pick that we have. If we see another player in the first round that we like, let's see. Let's say we get uh, Caleb Williams or Drake May in the first round. And then somebody like a Malik Neighbors or one of the top receivers in, in, in the draft or falling towards the back back end of the draft around pick 20, 22, 23, 24. We can use our second round pick to move back up in the first round to grab that guy now because we have another second round pick with the Seattle Seahawks. And it's going to be a late round pick. It's going to be in the 20s, maybe the 30s if they find some magic and make it all the way to the Super Bowl or something. But they are, they are going to be a playoff team, so it's going to be at least in the, the late 20s. Or early 20s, I'm sorry. like twenty Between 23 and 28, that's where that pick, I believe, I project is going to be. So if we could get two first-round picks because we traded that second-round pick and maybe a third-round pick or something like that, who knows? But if we could get two good players in the first round coming up this year, especially if we're still in the top five of the draft, who knows what we can do with that second round pick now that we have two. So great pickup, uh, I mean, great trade by Joe Shane. Leo Williams is now a Seattle Seahawks. Congratulations to him for going from one of the worst teams to one of the better teams in the NFC. He's probably going to do damage over there with the Seattle Seahawks, so get ready. To, for the, oh, Joe Shane is an idiot for trading away Leo Williams. Look at him dominating with the Seahawks now. Why do Giants players always get better with other teams? I, get ready for that. I don't care about that. He wasn't doing it here as far as with the New York Giants. We weren't going to resign him. So go ahead and get what you can for him, which was a lot. It was a whole lot more than I thought I could get for Leo Williams. I thought they was going to get like a fourth or fifth round pick for Leo Williams. But... Turn out to be a second and a fifth. Hey, congratulations. Leo Williams, always going to uh, acknowledge you as a giant. He gave us some very good years. He gave us one good Pro Bowl, all Pro Bowl, uh, all Pro year. Proud of you. Go over there. Be successful with your new team. And we're going to continue to rebuild over here with the New York Giants. So, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that big blue join button, 
And until the next episode of New York Giants for Access with your boy Big Passports Talk, you know what it is, man. Peace.